Yeah. <laughs> codes. Oh, we have booking codes and Airbnb codes. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everyone? Nacho here. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Today we have a special guest, Rizu, and today's video is gonna be about how to find cheap flights and accommodation. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is flights. So whenever we search for cheap flights, we usually use all the websites. So like Google, Kayak, Expedia. Skyscanner though is our favorite website. They usually have the best rates, but not always. So that's why we usually check all the websites before we make our purchase. So there's a myth that purchasing flights on a Tuesday are generally cheaper, but I find that prices just fluctuate throughout the week and on the weekend, that's when they're the highest. And you wanna make sure not to fly in and out during the weekend because that's when it's gonna be the most expensive and the most busiest. And you also want to take in consideration the season that you're traveling. Usually the spring and summer have higher flight prices and the fall and winter are usually cheaper prices for flights. Also, flying for the holidays like Christmas and Thanksgiving tend to be very expensive. So make sure to research all your flights like as soon as you know that you're going to take this trip because the sooner you can get them, the cheaper you'll get them than versus trying to buy them like a couple of days or even weeks before your actual trip starts. Also make sure to pay attention to the details like baggage and layovers and stuff like that. So our recommendation to try to maximize the cheapest flight is to try to purchase and fly in and out from Monday through Thursday. Once you have your flights picked out, make sure to figure out the transportation to and from the airport to the location that you're gonna be staying at. The next thing we're gonna talk about now is accommodation. So also for accommodation, we check all the websites. We check Kayak, TripAdvisor, Airbnb, and our favorite one for accommodation is booking. <laughs> Not sponsored. So before we book our accommodation, we kind of try to get a general idea of the place where we plan to travel. So what we do is we kind of like pinpoint all the places where we're going to see or what we're going to do. And we kind of try to stay in that general area. So something else that's also really important to consider is when choosing your location, it's not always the smartest thing to pick it when it's the cheapest because most likely it's going to be the farthest from where you need to be. So either try to find somewhere in the middle or be close to it because the price of that accommodation is probably going to balance out from the money you'll be spending on transportation. So we've done both. We've actually chosen like some of the cheapest accommodation, but we kind of ended up spending more because we had to travel almost an hour away to get to all the things we wanted to see. But we've also booked accommodation that has a central location to where we didn't even need any sort of transportation. And most of that area was within walking distance to all the sites. So if you do choose to stay a little farther away because it's cheaper, um, just consider the time it will take you to transport to the places you want to go to. We usually use Google Maps to check you know, how far away something is, just so we can kind of get a better idea. So as you're choosing your accommodation, make sure that it fits your needs, as in some places include breakfast, some places have washing and drying capabilities, some places have mopeds and bikes that you can also rent to get around. So in the end, make sure that this location that you pick out meets all your needs. So one last thing is to read the reviews of the places that you're gonna be staying at. You really learn a lot from reading the reviews and you get kind of a better idea and a better picture of where you're actually gonna be staying. So that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed. If you plan on using either Booking or Airbnb, make sure you use our codes uh, linked in the description below. That would get you some money off for your next trip. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like. It would really help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram at Nacho Travel. And with that out of the way, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>